Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to build a simple blog using Wagtail. It will look like this, with a very simple front page. And if you go to slash blog, you will see a list of posts. And you can also click read more to view the detailed page. We have image, caption, title, a date, and more information about the blog. You can also click here to go back. The blog doesn't look particularly good, but this is just for showing how to build a very simple blog using Wagtail. Okay, so Wagtail is a powerful CMS for modern websites. I just started to learn how to use it and it's very great to work with. As you can see here, it comes with a lot of cool features, but I'm not going to dig into all of them. The first thing I'm going to do now is to just follow this short guide. So, try Wagtail and seven lines. So first, I'll just copy this. Actually, first I want to create a virtual environment. So here is a Python. 3-m venv then is and then the name wagtail test and then I can activate it by saying source wagtail test bin activate so now you can see here that it's activated nice so then I can go back here and install wagtail so now this will install wagtail and all of the dependencies that this has as you can see it's Django REST framework, tag it, filter and a lot of other things we need. So here you can also see that Django was installed. Great, so now everything we need is installed and I can go back here and then copy the next Wagtail start and then the name which can just be my site in this case. So we just paste it in. So now it's successfully done that, so I can go into it. Then see here that I got the docker file, home, manage.py, my site, requirements to install, and a search folder. So let's install all of the requirements. So that's done. Okay, that's actually done. I guess that was done when I run the other command. Yes, okay. So then I can initialize the database. Great. And then can create the admin user admin yes I want to bypass this great so the super user was created successfully so then I can try to run this and see it in the browser yes so just copy this and there you have it wagtail you can watch a tutorial see the in admin interface and similar so I just want to open this in a new uh, tab so you can see that we have a new interface not the same as Django I can log in with the user I created sign in nice so now you can see here that we have one page and zero of this with the user I can log out and I can also add some information about myself on the settings you can see users groups sites if you want the multi-site and similar Reports are for analytics and similar. Documents are if you want PDFs to download. Images are for images to show on the website. And then you have the pages. Right now we only have the home page, which is this one, I think. Try to edit this. Home. Okay, I guess this is a different type of page. So let me open the code in the editor. Great, so then I have everything here. You can see my site, which is the typical project in Django. Here are some default URLs that Wagtail comes with. Then you have the templates, for example, the block template. This is the one you should be seeing here. And then static, here you can have CSS, JavaScript. And settings is for base, dev, and production files. And then in home, if I open up home page, okay. Um, then you can see that this is not the one showing here, but it's probably the welcome page. Yes, for example, pass egg plus egg, which is this one. So what do I do now to see or change the front page? Let me go to the documentation. Okay, we have installed this, so let me go to 
your first wagtail sight. So this is done, this is done, this is done, and this is done, this is done, this is done, and this is done. So now we are here and we checked out admin. So then out of the box, the whole map defines a blank home page in model.py. Let me just open up this one so I can see it. Yes, there are nothing there right now. So let me add this some things to this we can try to add the rich text field just copy this paste it and then this will create a new database field and then this below is for the fields we want to show in the admin interface you can see you get two errors now we need to import these three okay that one was already there and save so this is probably just a warning now because I have installed it. It's probably just my Visual Studio code that can't find this. So if I save now, I need to run the make migrations and similar. So let's go to the terminal. Python measure py make migrations. And Python measure py migrate. So now I added a new field to the home page. If I now run the server again. Nothing happens there, but if I refresh here now, you will see that we now have a body here. This is the body from the front page. Okay, save. Still nothing happens there, so what do I need to do to see this? Okay, let me just try to copy all of this and replace the contents of the home page, which is this one save don't think this will work because we're still sh seeing the home page no it worked nice so now this is the thing showing so if you want to show the title at the top you can say h1 oops and then in here say page.title save nice so now i have the title and the rich text body and the rich text can have images, links, videos, and similar. So if I set this to be bold, publish it again, go back and refresh, you'll see that this is now bold. Nice. So let me see what else we can do in this first Wagtail page. Yes, so you can see here the rich text uh, converts the element or the, the, the model here into HTML and show it for us. Okay, yes, yeah, so now we're ready to create a basic blog. So let me start a new app, and then go to the command line, stop, paste, and hit enter. And then we need to find the settings file. Let's see if this says one, yes, in the base.py. So open up my site settings based on pi and find installed apps blog save and now that's done so now django knows that it exists and that we want to use it i want to start with a simple index page and the index page is then the list of blog posts so if i just copy all of this it's almost identical to the home model but let's do it anyway so here I have an intro field, which is typically the one you see on the front page before you go to the full page. Save. Let's go back. Okay, so now we need to run the migrations again. Great, so then I can run the server again. So then the default one, uh, default template name will be this uh, typical Django convention. So if I go back here, create a new folder, templates, and then blog, and then blog index page, which is this one with just uh, other camel, not camel case. So blog index page.html. So then we need to add this content to this. So if I copy this, paste it here, 
and you see that we load the tags for using uh, things from Wagtail. We extend the base template and then we set the class on the body. And then we show a title, the introduction, and we also get all of the children posts I will show you soon. But if we save this now, go back here. You see that he wants just to create one more here, but let's go into the Wagtail admin to see how this looks now. If I go into home, add the child page, then I want to add a blog index page called the blog. This is the intro on the blog page. Publish. So then I should hopefully be able to go to slash blog. Yes. But this template does not exist. Okay, that's weird. Let me just stop and run it again. Yes, that worked. Nice. So now we can see the blog and title from the admin interface here. And now I want to make it possible to add posts to this page. So if I then go back to mols.py, then I can create them here class blog page there should also be a type of page from wagtail here we want the introduction and by the way the title field is automatically added from wagtail then i can copy this but also i want more fields here because i want the body which should also be a rich text field just copy and paste body save let me see if i did it correctly based on the blog here yes okay the post date yeah okay we can add one more field just for having this and you can see here that it's not using a rich text field for the intro so we can just do the same as this and use django fields instead then we need to import this from django.tb.models sorry import models like that so now we can see the errors are gone nice so this is then a rich field blank is true this has to be filled out and the same with the date so everything should be okay there Maybe remove this class also. And we need to tell Wagtail that we want to show the date field in the interface. So field panel date. So then we need to run the migrations again. And we can run the server. Nice. So let me go back here again. And then go into the blog. Sorry, not there. Blog. And then here I can click add child page. And here I want to add a blog page or a post. So go into that. This is the first post. And then what the date this has been posted and this today. This is the introduction for the first post. And then this is the body for the first post. Let me make this a little longer. Oops. Like that. Okay, so then I can save this, publish. If I go back and refresh now, you'll see that it's listed out here. And that's because we use the on the blog index page, we show them here. But on the index page there, I don't want to show the body, I only want to show the title and then the introduction. I also add the read more button. And then you can see here that we are using a tag called page URL, which is very similar to the URL from Django. So I just say post, which refers to this loop here. Read more. Refresh. Okay, can add this in a paragraph just so it's on a separate line and if I click this now I will get the template that doesn't exist 
yet because we haven't created the detail page. So let me just go back here and then we'll see that the next step is to actually create this. So then we can copy this, go and create a template. Then we'll just follow the same naming convention, blog page.html and paste it here. As you can see this is very similar to the other pages. We have the title, no, the title, the date, intro and then the body. And then we also have a link back to the parent page. This is uh, this property is on all pages, so you always know you can go back to the previous page or the parent page. So then we can save this and go here, refresh, and then we'll see the detail page. We can add a example strong just so that we are separating the introduction from the body. Refresh like that. And if I click here now, I will be sent back to the blog. Nice. So that's actually how you create a very simple blog using Wagtail. Great. So let's go to the guide again and see what more we can do here. So this wants us to create more content. Blah blah blah. Okay, so here, if you wanted to do some changes to the to the get or to the context to the pages, let's say you want to change the ordering or similar, you can add a new function to the blog index page fun uh, clause. So if you just copy this, go into the models.py, we can paste it here and save. So now this will say blog pages and if I go here now refresh nothing happens but now this should be added to the context so instead of saying this I can actually say for post in blog pages refresh and they are still there it's just that now it's using this to get the context from the database Nice. So let's go back here again. See if there are. Oh, okay, we can add images. Nice. New imports. Okay, let's copy these two lines and add. Okay, I don't want the gallery, I just want the simple image for the blog page. So if we then go here, paste it below the body, there we image. And if you delete the post, you also want to delete the image. Caption. This is caption or information about the picture. So let's copy these two. And paste them below there. And save. And when that's done, we need to update the database again. Okay, this is now, okay, this, just uh, hit uh, control C or what you have on your computer, because I don't want this to be required. So here we can set blank equals true and null equals true. And then go back here again. Yes, I think it is correct. Yes, just save this now. And we can try to update the database again. Run the server. And we can go and try this. So if you now refresh, click edit on this post. And we should have a new two new fields here. So I want to choose an image. Okay, I can upload. Okay, so now I selected image. And then it automatically titled car oops, car image upload. And then you can see here that I can change this, I can edit this if I wanted to, I can add some information, focal area, and similar. Okay, this is the caption. Now we can publish this. And this should not change this because because we haven't chosen how to show this in the front end. 
So that's probably the next step here somewhere. Okay, to show an image we just need to use this tag and this caption. Maybe we should just use that on the detail page, open up blog page.html and paste it above the title. So now we have a tag called image which takes the field item.image except item doesn't exist, it should be page.image and then it sets the size for this. You can see how this looks like and now we can show the caption below. So page.caption so If I now go back and refresh or click in here, invalid. Okay, you can see here that there is something wrong with the block tag and that is this one because we haven't loaded it, we have just loaded the core tags. So, as you can see here now, it tells me to load more types of tags. So if I just paste this, go back and refresh. Now it's loaded, there you can see the image and the caption. Nice. And just like in other types of Django templates, here we can say if page.caption to see that it exists. And if because if the caption isn't there, you don't want to show an empty paragraph. Great, so then we have images for the blog as well. Yes, I'm not going to go into tags right now, but at least now we have built a very basic blog using Wagtail. If you want more content with Wagtail, just leave a comment below and add some suggestions for what you want me to do. See you in the next video.